everyone, I hope you've had a really good long weekend um, and stayed nice and dry and warm. So what I thought I'd do is just take a couple of minutes and take you through the app that I've been using, which I absolutely love, um, that a fellow girlfriend designer recommended, but it is totally for any small business, big business, you can use it to any degree. So the app is called Notion, N-O-T-I-O-N, and it's basically for me is a way that I can get everything out of my head, whether it's business, whether it's personal, whether it's ideas, it's marketing, it's leads, it's financials, you can do everything. It's that drag and drop goodness that um, I absolutely love. And so what I thought I'd do is I'll take you through an example of my homepage for it and what I've created. Um, and I've really made it really simple for myself. Um, but you can take it to whatever degree you want. But I know for a lot of us, it's just about getting things in a really clear, simple format. Um, but certainly this is just the tip of the iceberg as to what you can do with it. So I've set up my, I call it my dashboard like this. And what I have here is, sounds lame, but I call it my game day list. So when I sit down, or I actually do it the day before, um, I've got it the next day. But it's literally my top three things that I have to accomplish in that day. So um, it just makes it really clear and actionable and things to me. I have my overall work to do list. So these are all the small things. So whether it's your end of financial year accounts, whether it's um, getting back to X, Y, Z about a proposal, whether it's um, uh, having setting up team meetings, whatever your kind of general work tasks are, that's what I pop there. I then put up my appointments for the day. So if I have, and I can actually add the link um, and to like, add the Zoom link here or whatever. So you can kind of um, click here, you can link and put the Zoom link in there and link it. So basically, as soon as you know that you've got to call at 1.30, click the link and it'll bring up Zoom straight away. Um, and so, as I mentioned, I do the next day, the night before or the afternoon before, so I know exactly when I land on my desk in the morning, what I've got to get done. Um, I have themes of the week, again, Lame, don't feel you need to do it, but this for me just makes sure that I have something kind of that I go back to. Um, so at the moment, um, as many of you have seen, I'm really just trying to really cement in and get back to being a lot more of a conscious business. And so for me, it, these are just themes that I can just look at and just kind of remind myself throughout the day. Um, you can have quotes, you can have, well, you could do anything with it, but this is just kind of what's working for me. And then I have follow-ups. So this is when I've had a lead. So say um, Kerry calls and or sends me an email. She wants to maybe potentially look at branding and a website. Um, I have a template here, which is literally a, t a page. So um, I put the status so in here. Say it was a proposal. Um, this was for... Kerry um, branding, the inquiry was received today. Say I've booked in a consultation for tomorrow to speak to her. Um, once the proposal's sent, you can um, click that box, add her email in there. She wants um, branding and a website. Uh, you can add general comments here. I then have the client name, brand name, how they found me, their location, website, social media, and then I have some extra questions that I just want to make sure that I cover off in that call. Um, so if I go back, uh, yeah, I'll go there in a minute. So that was the template. Um, and then I'll flick to the leads example in a minute because it's further down. Then here I've got my personal to-do list. So this is all the, make sure that I've got fins and merino singlets, make sure I pick up socks, maybe I've got to go to the bank to do something. All those things, no matter how big or small, all just go on the personal to-do list. Uh, this side here, courses to look into. So I don't know if some of you are like me, where I opt into a lot of stuff, where I've signed up for courses, and maybe I haven't got around to really finishing the content or gone through the PDF and then it kind of gets lost. So what I'll often do is if I download an opt-in or I sign up to a course, I'll list it on here just to make sure that I've always got a reference point to go back to and know that I've got to finish it. And then this one here, I have my bigger goals. So um, the things that I really want to remind myself on a daily basis for the bigger picture as to what I want to be or where I want to go. If it doesn't happen and things pivot and go a different way, that's totally fine. But I just like to have something that I am putting my energy towards and where I kind of want to go. So when I mentioned that leads example, 
that was up here. This is here. So I've created an example one here. So that form there, sorry. So this was an example here, strategy website. It was a test. They've answered all the questions. Um, and then it's got the types of projects. So I can very easily on my homepage see leads, so people that have been in touch. So um, I found this has really worked to help me follow up really well and easily with people. Um, and you can see when the inquiry was received, when you sent a proposal, that sort of thing. And I'll show it in more detail soon. And then current projects. So I will have listed here, like under May, I'll have however many projects, June, July, August, September. So it just means that I have a really clear overall picture of when projects are. So say this one I've set up as an example. Again, the status is at June, the portal details. So I run everything through a portal. So it just means that I can easily put their details here. They wanted branding a website, the project price, um, the start date, link to any images if they've sent me a Dropbox or a Google Drive. Um, then I have all the different sections to make sure that I get done. So I have like my onboarding, signing them up in the portal, um, getting the deposit, contract signed, requirements are all there, design, marketing and offboarding. So that is what I do, and it's a way for me to really easily see where each project is at. And say a project's been pushed out to July, you can just copy, drag it over. And like I said before, I've got another template here. So I've got a branding template and a website template. So if I go to website, that'll bring up just this um, template, which is different. So say I had Kerry, the client, wants to do both branding and website, I would set up separate ones for them um, within the same month. Um, then I have marketing. So I use Planoli to plan all my um, Instagram. So I have the link there to take me straight through and it signed me all in. I have Flowdesk, um, which is how I do all my email marketing. That takes me through there. And then I've got a link to a marketing page where I've got all my overall marketing KPIs and all the different things, elements of the marketing plan and um, all of that sort of area. And then this is um, where I can put key dates. So I don't duplicate. So Planoli is where I plan out all my social media. I'm not going to double up and put all the information here. So this is more about key dates. So say I've got a monthly email here. Say I've got an email here about this Notion app. Say I've got um, a blog post and a blog post that's looking at a bigger picture. So not necessarily every single detail of social media, but it's just making sure that there's a clear kind of plan to it. And that's literally it. Um, for my homepage in Notion. So it just means when I sit down in the morning, I have a really clear plan as to what to do, the appointments for the day. I've got quick links to get to everything. Um, so if I was to do that leads example, um, you can go further in depth to see like, there's an inquiry, yep, I sent the video, uh, videos booked, say the proposal's been sent, and I can just easily move people sort of along that, um, sales funnel really but I mean I've still got to get all the information across so I've pre-written two courses um, so I've got those all in my workbook so from now on I'm going to shift it over and actually design the full course layout in Notion so I can very easily see add to it delete things and sort of build it out so it's always there I mean the potential is kind of endless with what you do so um, say if we go back to the dashboard example go down to the bottom you can just get a little so you see this one here this enables you to drag and drop so if you have a Squarespace site you'll be used to this sort of goodness um, if you click the plus so they've got the option just to add text in and better sub page um, a to-do list they've got headings um, you can then do you can even if you've got teams you can mention a person so sign it to um, Linda that sort of thing you can set date and reminders to pop up um, so you can do tables um, these are the sort of ones that I've just done where you move month over month over you can set up calendars um, maybe you can put in images in here you can here you go embed um, audio there's sort of you can have a link to your Google Drive the sort of list is kind of endless for it, which is incredible. Um, and then what they've also got is things like templates. 
So you can jump in here if you're not quite sure how to start or you like what I've done with the layout but you kind of want to make something your own. Um, you can look at all the templates they've got. So say it's design tasks. Here you can see that they've got they've been a lot more specific, a lot more detailed. They've got little images like it's all amazing. Meeting notes. Um, you can add people to it. You can do all of that. Say you're in education. You've got all your studying. You've got your class notes in there. That sort of thing. Job applications. You can put just your details there. Um, club homepage. That's exciting. So say you're in charge of a club. You can do stuff there. Uh, thesis planning. So this is building out. So similar to um, how I mentioned the course, I can put all the details in here. I can set time frames. I can link up marketing plans. Um, I can sort of break it all down a lot more. Uh, personal CRM. Wow. You can put all your personal friends in there. <laughs> uh, you've got simple budgets. So if you want to kind of have a really overall sort of picture and really understand what things are about, put them into segments, that sort of element. Engineering. I'm not going to go into that. Human resources. So this is great if you are um, sort of wanting to have a look at the different elements of um, your business. If you have subcontractors or you have employees, um, you can do onboarding, so how you kind of onboard if you're um, interviewing people, that sort of thing. Um, you can have personal boards and shared boards, so if there's um, another person in your company you want to share a board with, so say I have a subcontractor that I, I can send to through a specific page that is basically her onboarding of something. Uh, marketing. So you can put all your brand assets. So say you can put in here all your logos, all your color files. Um, say you've got a selection of images that you can draw from, which is like your company stock images. You can have them all in there. So it's just in one clear, easy space. And again, you could share this page with, say, a designer if you wanted them to quickly say a designer was mocking up a marketing um, page for you. You can do it there. Um, again, meeting notes. Pop them all in there. Content calendar idea in progress in review so in my marketing page that I have I have like a brain dump section so anytime I'm thinking of something um, and they've got a fantastic app on your phone and I should mention at the stage it's completely free sorry I should have mentioned that but if you I think the pay plan is when you have either staff or contributors so I'm pretty sure that's but in terms of the full capacity it's now fully um, unpaid for all personal use in that way um, and it might be up to a certain gigabyte but I certainly have been nowhere near clo close to it so um, then you can go so you've got your personal so say you've got your personal home um, sort of list and again see that's a click through to your yearly goals um, click back here say you've got travel plans won't be anytime soon but you can pop them all there so say you travel around the country to sell things or anything you could put all your different trips or your different information in there recipes um, and yeah so that could be links to websites like the list is truly endless as to what you can do with it um, but yeah as I was saying before their their phone app is fantastic so if I've just had a shower and thought of something or got to remind myself something I can quickly open the app and just chuck it in there and it's yeah it's perfect and it shows up straight away if you've got a reading list I'm very jealous if you have a reading list because you've got time to read which I miss <laughs> and then um, habit tracker that sort of thing so running that would not be me meditation seven hours sleep I mean the yeah you can take things as far as you want to take them product management say you're in sales um, if you have a CRM system so say you've got a list of people you want to draw on and support um, so that's just sort of the different elements of the templates so how you choose to take this is totally your call but it has been a complete game changer for me as to seeing an overall picture being able to have um, a way to access different things without having a million different books um, or it all stuck in my head so I'm a big believer and I talk to a lot of strategy clients about this is um, 
and particularly for a lot that are parents as well, you have that brain fog and a million things and you feel overwhelmed because there's so much going on in your head. But if it's all down and in a really clear plan, then you'll be able to kind of have a more relaxed view going into looking at it. So as I mentioned again, I do this, so um, I'll jump in shortly and just confirm and write out all the appointments for tomorrow and my game day list for tomorrow. So that means that Firstly, when I sit down at my desk, I can open it up and see the really clear plan of what I've got to do for the day. But I also know the bigger picture plans um, and personal to-do items. So if I do have 15 minutes, I'm like, yep, yeah, cool, I've got to jump on and order a lunchbox or whatever those kind of things are. You know that you can do it and then you can mark it off. Um, so yeah, hopefully this helps, um, helps you and it might be a really good way to kind of, um, yeah, introduce it into your sort of... Um, ways to organize but if you've got any questions let me know but yeah have a good day a good week and I will speak to you soon see ya